The first thing you want to do with the flamenco yarn is roll it into a ball. And when I say roll it into a ball, I don't mean you have to spread the yarn open like this. All you have to do is find the end and simply wrap it around your hand so it lays flat like this because as it comes off the machines at the factory it puts a twist in it and if you don't re-roll your yarn you will fight the twist the entire time you're making the scarf which first causes a lot of frustration and second is wastes a lot of time so the first thing you're going to want to do is roll your entire skein of yarn into a ball like this making sure it's flat Okay. The second thing you're going to do when you start your scarf, you're going to open your yarn. And we sell two types of yarn. We sell the flamenco and the salsa. So when you open your yarn, it's full of holes. It kind of looks like a, a fishing net. And one edge of the holes is very thin, has a very thin edge. And the other side is wider. So the wider edge is always your outside edge of your scarf and you're always going to work in the outside row of holes that have the thin edge. The salsa has the little balls on it and that's how you tell the difference. It also has a little bit smaller holes than the flamenco does. They both work exactly the same way. They both are made exactly the same way whether you're stitching whether you're knitting them or you're crocheting them they both work the same way so I'm going to show you how to start your scarf and we're going to do the knitting first so you're going to open up your yarn like this lay it on a flat surface in front of you and the very first thing I do is fold these raw edges up toward the top like this. Now I take my needle and I'm concentrating again only on this outside row of holes. And you can see how the second row of holes actually comes right underneath. This here is the second row of holes, so we're only ever working in this outside row of holes. When I'm doing the flamenco yarn, I'm using only eight stitches. The salsa we're doing six, so exactly the same process, only we're doing six stitches or eight stitches. So I'm going to go through the first hole. Now I'm actually going through two rows of yarn because I'm going to pick up this little end so that it's nicely tucked into my scarf and it doesn't hang out the bottom, leaving a uh, you know, not very attractive look. I'm going to come around to the front again and through the second hole back around to the front into the third hole, the fourth hole, the fifth hole, the sixth hole, the seventh hole, and the eighth hole. Okay, so now that is my cast on. Eight stitches on my needle. I'm going to switch hands. I'm going to pick up my other needle. Now, I do this a little backwards in comparison to some people who are traditional knitters. A traditional knitter would go in through their stitch like this. It works exactly the same way. Whether you go into your stitch like this or whether you do it the way I do and I go through my stitch like this. I'm going to pick up my yarn with my left hand. I simply shove my thumb through one of the holes and my index finger in one of the top holes and I can easily find the next hole in the top row and I'm going to make sure that I'm going in every single hole in the top row. My bottom needle goes through that hole and I pull it through the stitch on my needle. Now this is when I would drop this off. Into the next stitch, again pick up the yarn. The next hole in the top row over my bottom needle and pull it through the stitch and drop it off. And continue this the entire length until you've done all eight stitches. 
Now, I'm going to show you a little trick that's going to, first of all, make your life easier, and second of all, help keep you from losing your stitches, which is the first, you know, one of the very hardest things about making this scarf is you're working in holes that already exist, so the size never changes. So no matter what size needles you use, I like to use an 11, but you can use whatever size you want. And you, the bigger the needle is, of course, the less likely are, you are to drop the stitches off your needle. And as I finish this up, down to the end, of course, being careful that I am catching both rows so that my little ends are stuck up inside of my scarf. Now, there is your first row. Now, don't worry about these little ends. They're going to all be hidden in the scarf. As you turn it around, you're going to switch hands again. And this is what I do that I believe makes my life a lot easier and I have a lot less, I lose the stitches a lot less. I go in, I pick up my yarn like I did at the very beginning, open it, the next hole in the top row, my bottom needle goes through, and I pull that through. Now I'm going to, instead of dropping this off like I did in the first row, I'm going to just go into the next hole open the yarn, the next hole in the top row, my bottom needle goes through and pull it through. Now I have two on two stitches on my right needle. Now I'm going to continue into the third stitch on my left needle, pick up the yarn again, and I'm going to do the entire row this way, not dropping any of the stitches off as I go. And that helps prevent me from losing the stitches say if I was in the car and, and you know we're bumping down the road but I'm, I'm knitting away there's a lot less chance I'm gonna drop the stitches if I have both needles through the stitches instead of just one so I'm gonna finish up the row two more stitches and all I'm simply going to do is pull the left needle out And there's my next row. So, right now it doesn't look like a whole lot of anything, but as you go, it's going to continue to go around and around, and your scarf's going to get longer and longer. Now, if you do as I suggested and do eight stitches with this yarn, six stitches with the salsa, you will get approximately a 45 inch scarf with one skein of yarn. If you like a fuller scarf, then you're going to want to put more stitches on to start, but that will also in turn make your scarf shorter. The next thing I want to make sure that I show you, now you can crochet this also. You're going to do exactly the same as you do when you're knitting. You're going to open the yarn and so on and so forth. But I'm going to show you, before I go on to showing you the crochet, I'm going to show you how to cast off the knitting stitches. So when you cast off through the first stitch, and you're going to do just two regular knit stitches like we've been doing the whole time. So I'm just going to take this, drop it off, and then do the second one, and drop it off. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to take the bottom stitch and leapfrog it over the top stitch, back to one stitch on the needle. Now I'm going to knit the next stitch off my left needle. It's going to come off. I'm going to drop the stitch. I'm going to leapfrog the bottom one over the top one, again leaving one left on my needle into the third stitch. And I'm going to just continue doing this until I've done all the stitches on the left needle, leapfrogging over, and when I get to the very end, I'm gonna pull the tail of the yarn, 
through the last hole and then tie a small knot. Cut it, cut the tail end off, and that is it. Your scarf will be finished and you know you can move on to the next one. Um, I would have to say it takes me approximately two hours to make a scarf. Now the very first one I made took me about a whole day. So don't get anxious or worked up if, if your very first scarf is taking you quite a long time to get done because you're constantly getting faster and the more comfortable you become with opening your yarn and slipping it over the needle, the faster you will become. Now this is the last hole. Now I would take this tail, if it was cut off, shove it through the hole just like this and then I would tie this in a knot and trim it and then your scarf would be complete. Now I want to show you real quick how to crochet for those of you who don't know how to knit or are afraid to knit or aren't coordinated enough to use two needles. I thought the same thing because this is the only thing that I've ever knitted in my life. But I found it quite simple and all you're going to do is open your yarn just like you did before. Take your crochet hook. You're going to chain. So I'm going into the first hole, into the second hole, and I'm going to pull it through. Chain one, chain two, whoops, chain three, chain four, and five. Now, if I'm knit, if I'm going to be crocheting this, I have to use less stitches in my row because I'm going to use twice as much yarn as I'm crocheting it than I do when I'm knitting it. Therefore, we're making a shorter row and we still end up with a nice full scarf because we're using twice as much yarn as we're doing the stitching. So, now I've gone through here, we've done five stitches, so I'm only going to do four stitches back across. Going into my first chain, going into the next hole in the top row, pulling it through, find the next chain in line, go into the chain, find the next hole in the top row, that's your yarn over, pull it through just the chain, yarn over again with the next hole in the top row, and pull it through both stitches. So into the next chain, through the next hole in the top row, pull it through once, yarn over again, and pull it through both. Now into the last chain for this row, into the yarn over, pull through the first stitch, yarn over again, and then pull through both. Now just like when you're crocheting an afghan or anything else, you always have to chain one at the end of your row. So you're going to do the same thing, chain one, and that's to turn. Now you're going to go back the other way and continue in every stitch that you created. You're going to go through the stitch, front to back, pick up the yarn, through the first stitch, the next hole goes over, through both stitches. And you're just going to continue this way back and forth the entire scarf so that you, until the yarn's gone and you'll end up with a nice 45 inch scarf. They look great on everyone. They're easy to make and anybody can do it. Whether you can crochet or whether you can knit, you can all make these scarves. They're very fun, fast, and easy. I hope this was helpful and if you have any questions, please free feel free to email me. Thank you.